Hi everyone, it's Gail and I am here with Mixed Media Monday. I'm going to play in my little draw paper journal for a little bit and no idea what I'm going to do, but just play. And um, so that's what we're going to do for Mixed Media Monday today. Uh, let me say hi and hugs to Nora. Hi, Nora. I had a big visit with Candy yesterday and um, so wanted to say a special hi to you. She says she's been, uh, she said that you've been watching. So, so hi, Nora. I hope you're having fun in retirement and doing your own crafty things. And also hi and hugs to Rochelle, Little Gypsy, and Mary. Thank you all for watching and for your nice comments and everything. Okay, so I have one more thing to share before we get started this morning this was such a great comic and i cut it out because i want to put it in my daily journal um it's rose is rose and this gal i don't know if i can get it up to you so you can see it probably will go out of focus but um so she's writing in a book and there's a squirrel in the tree with a handful of nuts and she says do something interesting I'm searching for unique events to put in my journal. And the squirrel just kind of sits there with his bundle of nuts. And she says, well, you were no help at all. And she starts to walk away and he starts juggling his, his nuts. So I don't know. I just thought it was funny. So I'm going to put that in my journal. Okay. Well, I thought I might play a bit with some of this stuff from the kit uh, from Mixed Media Minnesota. It was the February kit. I know she's sold out now, but, um, but I haven't played with it yet. And so I want to do that. I have no idea, as I said, what I'm doing. I also grabbed some um, rice paper because I haven't played with rice paper in here at all. So I don't know. I was thinking this, I want kind of a blankish page. I don't want a lot of stuff on it or writing or any or paint or anything. Oh, that one's not too bad. It's got pink already. Mm, might be too much like that one. Okay. I'm just going to go here. This is what we're going to do. Okay. Blank page syndrome. Here we go. So, oh, I was going to grab my gesso and I didn't. Talk amongst yourselves for a sec. Um, 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 gesso. Here you are. Here's my gesso. Maybe I'll squirt a little of that on and just... This is really old gesso and it's getting, it's getting kind of thick. <laughs> it's getting a little thick. I even have an apron on today, just saving my clothing. I grabbed just a, a, not a fancy brush because, you know, I tend to, oh, I just flipped that all over the place. <laughs> oh, we'll just rub that into the, into the old drop cloth and call that good. Got a little on the cover. Doesn't matter. This is just a playing book. So... Um, I don't know what I was saying. Maybe hoping you guys were having a good day. I don't know. Oh, I was saying I kill I kill paintbrushes. Because <laughs> I leave them in the water. And, you know, once they're in the water, they're there for... Oh, that's enough. That's plenty. Finally came out. <laughs> I was really squishing with all my might. Oh, my goodness. Well, we might have another page where we can put some of that let's, let's put a little on this page just here and there <laughs> just gonna put a little on this page I didn't bring over my um, dryer either that would have been a good idea okay let's finish on this page you can see I'm being super precious about this. 
I didn't really mean to necessarily do the whole page, but since I have enough um, gesso, why not, right? <laughs> Jeez. So much gesso. Oh my good grief. Let's put some more on a different page. We'll just put some over here. It's high time. I had just a messy play. That's what I think. High time for not knowing what I'm doing and just making a mess. I decided to, to do this, to do something fun like this. I've had... Guys, and I'm not I'm not looking for sympathy and I'm not looking for anything but just to vent a little bit, but I have had rough comments lately. Rough enough to make me wonder why I do this. <laughs> so anyway. I don't know. And I get it. Hurt people are the ones that hurt others. I, I get all that. But it still is a little rough on the soul. So today we are going to just play and do some whole he soul healing. How about that? Let's see. I'm gonna... I did remember to get my baby wipes. That was good. I've got a couple of like chunks. So I'm just going to grab those off of there. Yeah, that like I say that. Ooh, let's do this. Might make it dry a little quicker. Okay, so while that's drying, I, oh, I just sat, there. <laughs> I just sat that in my, my, oh, I just sat that in the stuff that I put on my drop paper. I told you I'm gonna get messy because I'm just such a dork. Okay. There we go. Um, anyway, while that's drying, as I was saying, I want to put this somewhere over there. Okay, um, I was looking through this, and this is actually not the... It's the same paper pack, but it's one I had already. And I was thinking about cutting out a couple butterflies. So let's just do that while while we wait for that to dry because see there's butterflies right here to be cut out I might put them on there somewhere I would like three of them there's two, two here and then there's one in a journal card that I could cut out And you never know. I mean, this might end up being a hot mess. Very well could. But I don't care. I'm playing and having a good time. I'm glad to have you with me. I haven't done a, a real mixed media type Monday for a bit because I was working so intently on journals. But... I am excited to be doing a little. Then it was kind of like I had a couple of thoughts of, I'd like to do this and I'd like to do that. But I've really been wanting to play with these soft pastels of this kit. So, And the, the draw paper, you know, some in my art journals, I often do a spread of two pages, you know. But... Um, the draw paper journals are so, uh, the pages are so big that I really feel like I can just do, okay, there's one. I really feel like I can just do one page and that's enough and actually is, you know, kind of as much as, if I did two, that would be a big old big old bit. Although I do have an art journal that's about this size, I think. It's a mixed media paper. Just one from Walmart. 
uh, one of those ones that has mixed media paper. I forget, I forget the name of them. They're kind of in the crafty part of Walmart. So today, the day that I'm filming this, this will go on Monday, but today's actually Thursday, um, is our anniversary. 44 years. Can you believe that? That was a quick 44 years. <laughs> oh, which is so crazy because at, at my age, I'll be lucky to have 20 more. And it's like, oh, but the first 44 went so quickly. So, but, um, but yeah, 44 years, 28th of January is our anniversary. And we were crazy kids. We jumped in our car and there's a place that's, oh, what is it? It's about four, four and a half hours from where we live. It's uh, Coeur d'Alene, Idaho. And I don't know what, what the rules are now, but at the time, now I hate to use this, but I do have another pack because it's, but I want the, I want the big butterfly. So I'm just going to cut that out. Um, anyway, you could, it was like a one day getting married thing, kind of like Las Vegas, like, like Las Vegas or something. But, um, uh, you'd go and there was a little place, it was called the Hitching Post. So hilarious. Yeah, the Hitching Post. Anyway. And um, across the street was the courthouse. So you went to the hitching post. You had your appointment or whatever. You went and then they took your blood test. And then you went over to the courthouse and got your marriage license. And, um, and then you came back and the guy did such a nice little ceremony. And, you know, he read from the Bible and all that. Most of the reason we did that is I had been briefly married before I married this guy that I had dated in high school, right after high school, and that was a mistake, found out. So um, anyway, met Mike, and he wasn't all that, I mean, he, he could kind of care less about a a big wedding so we just did that and my parents were so sweet they they gave us a little chunk of money because they said we didn't need to do another because I had a church wedding the first time so there you go church weddings don't necessarily mean that it's meant to be gonna work <laughs> didn't in my case anyway oh Okay, we have our butterflies. So we have these three butterflies. I like those. Okay. Here's that. Let's get rid of the scrappage. Oh, I'm just throwing it everywhere, but that's okay. Okay, we're getting dry over here. It's still a little wet because heaven knows I put enough on there. How are these pages? This one's dry. That one's getting there. Okay. Well, I want that to dry a little bit more. So we're going to doodle on this page. Um, let me see what I have here. Um, just looking for, uh, looking for a pen. Maybe I'll use this. This is Faber-Castell Pit Artist Pen. And it's kind of a brush. So that's kind of fun. So I'm just going to doodle a little bit while that's drying. And then you don't have to listen to the um, the hair dryer thingy, the air dryer, whatever you call it. Heat gun, that's what it's called. It's called a heat gun, Gail. So, so yeah, so we went over and at the time, his brother lived in Spokane, Washington. 
And so he and his wife came over and they, as my mom would say, stood up for us. They were our witnesses. And then afterwards, we went to a restaurant. I don't know if it's still there. If any of you know that are from Idaho, let me know. But um, uh, we went to a restaurant that was floating on the lake. It was really kind of cool. And um, we had lobster, which was kind of a big deal because I don't even know if I'd ever had it before. But it was yummy. I don't know. I have sort of the compunction. Is that a word? Compulsion? Whatever. I want to make these eyeballs. <laughs> and I say, why not? Let's just make a little bit of a a shiny right there. See, he's just uh, got eyeballs. Oh, you guys, I have a funny thing to tell you, too. So this morning, I was making my bed, and I'm going along, and there's this big lump in the bed, and I, I'm like, can't get, get it smoothed out, and then it dawns on me. <laughs> it was Yoda. <laughs> just trying to make the bed, and Yoda was so totally in the way. Okay, what else do I want to do here? Maybe let's play with these a little bit. Yeah, it's so funny. I la I literally laughed out loud at myself. I was like, oh, Gail, you are something else. So, anyway, I <laughs> that's how my morning started. <laughs> Let's put some other colors in here. That'd be fun. Um, I'm randomly grabbing, oh, pink. Pink would be fun. It amazes me that these pens are still good because they're old. But I store them on their side, and I do think that helps. So, I don't know. I'm just, oh, I'm just doodling until... My page is dry over there. How about a greenish? Here's that is a bright green. Oof. Light phthalo green? Don't even know. Oh, but it's pretty. Isn't doodling so calming? It really is. So calming. My page is dry though. So we'll come back to it if we, because I think we might need to dry in between a few other things. Okay, so that's good. Um, next, I wanted to put on some of this. I just wanted to sort of have a little, just a bit of it. Sorry for the crunch. I should have done that ahead of time, but I didn't think of it. So much for being organized, huh? Oh, isn't that pretty? That border is really pretty, isn't it? I'm going to cut that out. Then I can tear the flowered part at will. You never kind of know what way the rice paper is going to tear because it's so... Ooh, I do like that, though. Okay, then I'll kind of do one in the middle, maybe. Like that 
fish. Okay. And then this is going to go over here. Okay. I don't know. Just winging it. Um, I think I'll go ahead and use Mod Podge to put that down since it's handy. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Let me figure out a spot for that. Okay. This will be good because I'll Mod Podge down the butterflies when I'm ready too. That'll be good. Okay, so I guess we'll start with you. Be one soggy page with all the stuff I want to do to it. Okay. Okay. That's good. Oops, quit talking, didn't I? <laughs> Got engrossed in what I was doing. <laughs> Gosh, I can hardly believe that January is almost done. I feel like time is flying. There we go. There's that one. <clears throat> and I'll just put that one like that, I guess. So I'm going to go up here and down here. Might have to do the edges because it's a goofy shape. I don't know where to don't know where to put the Mod Podge. Okay. There. Oh, I did good. Got all the edges and everything. Except for maybe this one. <laughs> About the time I start to praise myself, it's all going to go downhill. Okay. Okay. So that's that for now. Let's see. Put that up there. Okay, so that needs to dry some more. So we're gonna we're gonna play some more over here. Um, do I want more colors on that? Maybe. Do I have a purple? That's not purple. Um. Gosh, I don't seem to have a purple. How crazy is that? I have this purple that's metallic. We're going to just go with that. Okay. Now, do I have... What do I have... What do I have for little pencils? This one might not be working. Nope. I need to I need to kind of clear out my pans anyways. Um because yeah, I mean they're they're all old. <laughs> That one kind of works. I was thinking about outlining this stencil. When I say kind of works, I mean kind of. 
it's barely working. But it's doing what I want it to do, so we'll go with it. And here. Ooh, I should go. I'm going to go put this under the heater. I'll be right back. Okay, well, I don't get to <laughs> I don't get to be doodling if it's under the dryer, but it'll go quicker. It's under the heat. Let's um distress these just as something to do while we're waiting. Mostly the I like getting the antenna because you can't really get right up close when you're cutting those out. <clears throat> oh, those are so pretty. I like those butterflies. I need a new sponge. It's starting to see. I don't know if you can see them, but there's crumbs everywhere. Do that. Is that one. That's what you call the passive heat gun. <laughs> putting, putting the book under the heat vent. So I think after lunch. I was looking at these two. Um, Mike and I are going to go for a little walk. Maybe I'll just cut the side of this. It's supposed to, it's very sunny out today. It's not super warm. It's only 34, but I can walk in the 30s. Once it gets into the 20s, I'm like, hmm. Maybe I'll just stay in my nice warm craft room. So there's these Eiffel Towers that are kind of cool. I just wanted to see what all... Look at these birds. Oh, that's cool. I like that they're all um, sparkly. Some other birds. Birdhouse. Roses. Rose and a wheel. And look at this pretty um, wreath. This is a uh, shabby chic bouquet, and it's Little Birdie brand. I've never heard of that brand. The clock. Another bird. Oh, these are really cute. Keys. There's another wreath. There's a, like a label. Ooh, I'm gonna use that. I just had a thought for that. Okay, well, those are cool. Gave us a little something to look at while we're, while we're drying. Now, of course, I can't get them back in. Okay, there we go. I'm gonna go grab our book. Oh yeah, that did a good job drying. Good job. Just a little bit of... Yeah. Good. Okay. So then I was thinking of a little a little of this Stamperia um, paint. I don't know. Oh yeah, it comes right out. I wasn't sure if it had a cap on it or something. My paintbrush still has a little gesso on it, but I don't care because I'm just gonna put a little of this here and there was my thought. Not much.
pretty. It's a pretty color of pink. Just trying to kind of um, cover up the spots where there's um, a date from the calendar or something. But I want to tie these pieces in too. Come on. I don't want much, so. Okay, next, I think I want to do some stamping, so I might have to go get my heat gun. I'm going to do it. I don't want to run out of time either. But, um, yeah, I had... And a gal asked me why I look at the time and it's just because I try not to go over an hour. That's the only reason I look at the time. Okay, close your ears or turn down the volume because I'm going to dry this. because I wanted to do some stamping. So, let's see here. What I was thinking of was this one. Maybe just that one. Okay, so this is a Carabell Studio, and it is called Secret, and it's Jen Bishop. You know I love me some Jen Bishop. Gosh, I haven't even used this one. So excited. Okay, so. Let's see. I think I need to re-ink my archival ink. It's starting to get a little where I I'm having trouble getting it to I mean you shouldn't have to work this hard. That's <laughs> what I'm saying. It doesn't matter because it's just gonna be here's here's and there's. Great background stamp. Yeah, so go over to Dreams with a Z, Dreams ETC um, dot com, and you can find Jen's beautiful things over there. I just ordered something from Jen. I'm excited to show you guys when you, when, uh, it comes. Okay, I think that's enough. I'm going to put this on my drop paper. I'm probably off camera, but I'm just going to work off some of the... Put one over here, too. Just work off some of the ink on my drop paper, and then it just makes it all the cooler to put into... A journal.
don't have a lot of stamping on this one. Ooh, that is just lovely. I've got ink all over my hands. I guess it's the occupational hazard of a little mixed media, isn't it? Okay, so now I think I want to put on this strip. Yes, I do. I want to put on this strip. Let me cut it off. Okay, and then I'm just going to use Mod Podge to put this on. Need more water in my Mod Podge or I'm going to ruin one more brush. I get my brushes at garage sales and estate sales, so I, I rarely pay full price for a brush because they're expensive. But that makes me a little more cavalier about their treatment, which isn't good. Okay, so right there. Um, but... Yeah, I, I've never found any at a thrift store, but I have at estate and garage sales. Gosh, there's a good estate sale this weekend. Makes me sad not to go, but can't go until, until I have the shot in the arm, <laughs> as it were. Okay. That down right on the edge. Okay. Ooh, I'm liking this. This is fun. Okay. Okay, so then. I feel like I'd like a little tan or something in there. Do I? Let's just play with these and see. Maybe I don't need that. I'm going to put this maybe right there. Oh, see, I don't need the tan because my butterflies will take up the... Oh, I definitely want one here. And then that shows that's kind of pretty. That's so pretty right there. Okay, I think that's where I'm going to put them. Um, I might use Fabri-Tac is what I'm thinking. I have to stand up and look at it for a second. Let's see, move it into camera would be good. Okay. Before I put this one on, I'm going to put today's date, which I've already put on here. Um, Oh, yeah, 2-1-2021. I had a moment thinking, no, it's January 28th. Well, that is because um, I film ahead. Hello, Gail. Okay, so I'm going to put the date on this is what I was thinking. Yay, okay, let that dry. Meanwhile, since I have it out, I'll stamp over here too. Just down in the corner. Okay, date stamps. So 
then we know when we did this. Okay, yeah, I think I'll just use this. This will be the easiest, I think. Could have Mod Podge, but I feel like this is cardstock. I would have needed a lot of Mod Podge, so this will work. Get those antlers down. <laughs> antenna. I know they're antenna, but I'm a Montana girl. Everything has antlers here. <laughs> Except the bighorn sheep. There, they have horns. I'm not as dumb as I look. <laughs> sound <laughs> or maybe I am who knows oh I was going to tell you guys too that um, I, I couldn't think of the name of the series that we've been watching it's called uh, relevance and it's it's um like a murder mystery kind of and on Netflix then what was oh we watched last night the movie we watched was was um it was breach and Again, true story. It was on um, Amazon Prime, and uh, but it was something I didn't know about. I mean, you know, um, and it was good. It had Ryan Phillippe in it. I like him. Okay, and that goes right there. Well, isn't that just a feminine little page? I'm pretty happy with it. Maybe what I'd like is to just maybe have just a titch more pink right there. That spot's bugging me. a bit okay I like that better okay I'm calling that page done oh that was fun thanks guys I needed that so I guess you can see it okay from there. So that one makes me happy. I have a lot of doodling to do here too. But let's let's play some more here for the rest of our time. I'm calling that one done. Yes. Oh, I'm very happy. And I I'm very happy to have some um rice paper that like I kept it for myself you know because usually they go in my journals and then they're gone so okay we have lots of little uh I'll do I have lots of little splotches here from a stencil Ooh, that's bright That'd be kind of fun to do those. They're all jiggy jaggy on the edges. I'm not very good at jiggy jaggy. And I should take my chin off of my hand because I sound weird. <laughs> 
This is my rock stencil. I know exactly which stencil this is. I love that stencil. Look at me. I look like I did a little mixed media. Well, tomorrow vi tomorrow's video, which I'm filming this afternoon, will also look like I've been doing mixed media, but that's okay. It'll wear off at some point. Good thing I wash my hands a lot. There's more of it over here. I was telling somebody in the comments, um, they were asking me about the drop paper journals and I was saying, you know, here soon, I don't know if they are yet, but here soon the office supply places and um, I think I've even seen them at Walmart will have these um, desk calendars that are this size. They'll have them on sale for a dollar because everybody, you know, will already have their 2021 calendar. And um, so I've picked them up there before. I get most of these pages from the gal I used to work with because we use them down in the phone-a-thon. Um, okay, that's fun. So anyways, um, oh, let's do some stamping. Um, you could get cheap ones there. Let's see, somewhere I have, not in there. I have lots of stamps here, let me just, yes. I knew I had these that have Oh, and these do too. Little round things. So, like, I think this one will fit in these. Oh, yeah. Isn't that cute? As you can tell, absolutely no plan doing these things, but it sure is fun. That's cool. Okay, I think there's a little one in here, maybe. This is Bow Bunny Postal Stamp that I'm sure it came from um, Tuesday morning because of the label. Okay, there's some little circles in this one. We aren't going to put any in our eyeball, though. <laughs> Ooh, fun. I put it upside down, but I can't see. That's okay. Let's. Just stamping it off onto my um, drop paper. I think that one is right side up that way. Nope, totally upside down. <laughs> That's all right. I don't care. <laughs> it's not like the the actual postage things are ever quite right either. Okay. Well, I'll did that. Okay. Whatever. What other stampy deuce can we do? Oh, I could put the put the little liney things through it. Okay, 
Sorry, that might be out of camera. It's a big book. <laughs> okay. So what else do we want to do? I'd like to do a little more stamping. That's all postage stamps. Um, let's look at this one. This one is um, a Carabella stamp. Oof. Des Ron's et du texty. <laughs> I'm sure that's not what, how you say it, but D E S R O N D S E T D U and text with an E on the end. I like that round one, and I haven't ever used that one, so let's use it. I think this could just be kind of fun put on here somewhere. Yeah, once again, I really need to ink my pad. Put this right here. Ooh, that's fun. enough. I kind of want to do something. Oh, I better stamp it off here. Stamp it off. Um, I kind of like to stamp something over that. I don't know exactly. I'm looking at the ones that I just have right at hand. Oh, I know, do I have? No. I have these and I've never really used these. What if we put an Eiffel Tower right there? That'd be fun. Okay, so I'm not quite done with that. Let's try this ink pad. I have no idea. It's probably all dried up because I've had these a long time. I think this is the one, if I'm not mistaken, that I ended up getting in a, um, a nursery, like a plant nursery. And uh, I was so excited that they had these. knows how this is going to turn out, but we might just... Ooh, I like that. It's fun. Um, let's damp off the Eiffel Tower. Okay. And then um, I think I might put Paris right there, where, that spot that's been bugging me. Okay, I am going to go like this. I was trying not to get it on the edge, but I still did. Mm. Fun. Okay. That doesn't help me, though, right there. Um, of what I want to put there. Yeah, those are fun Paris stamps. These are Cavallini and Company. That's right. Um, let's see what else I have over here, guys. No, I want my butterfly stamps, but I don't know. Let's use this. I love this one too. This is a Carabelle Studio too. Collage Text Grunge. 
I love it. I think it's so pretty. Okay, we're going to use this over here a little bit. Oh, you know what I forgot? Do we have time? No. Let's try it really fast. I forgot I wanted to put some texture paste on this one. Grabbing the first stencil I see, which I do think came from one of the Mixed Media, Media Minnesota kids. It's a little lacy. It was right on top. <laughs> Oh, let's put a little texture paste because then it can dry. Hopefully I'm not all... Oh, I'm all dried out. Gail. I think I can... I think I can make it work. I had a bit of... Um, I didn't have the lid on very well. Haste makes waste. Ooh, that's pretty. Yeah, it's just leaving some little bumpies. I like it. That's very nice. And actually, I think that's enough. Just a little bit. I don't even know if you can see it. Maybe if I go like that, can you see it? Um, but yes, I like that very much. Okay, so let's just smear the rest of this onto this page. Waste no product whatsoever. Okay, and then I'm going to do a little down here because there's still some in some of the little holes of this. There, we got them. All right. Okay, now I think we have just a couple minutes. Put that back on tight. And I'm going to... Um, just do this, this stamp over this area, I think. muddy. <laughs> That's all right. This part, I love the, oh, it's not, the lid's not going to do me any good. I love this part right here. Of this stamp. Smushing my stuff down. Let's see, let's do that one. Right there. Hot mess, this side. Hot mess. You know what I might do is just keep adding to it, I think. Well, there you go, guys. That was fun. I had myself a play. Thanks for keeping me company. And we will just see you in the next video. Have a grateful day. And thanks so much, everyone. Bye-bye.